never know. He drove off perfectly fine. <laughs> it was in shot? Yeah. That was probably one was, of the worst ones. It was like a hard side mold? No, it was uh, it was just a top of it. I pulled it completely out. So it was, you know, <laughs> How'd you put it back on? What do you mean? I didn't put it back on. It's like a 105 type of thing or something? Yeah, yeah, just like little soft, soft Yo, <laughs> I came in for a door glass left with his top piece missing, right? Didn't even notice. Yo, That's hilarious. Like, you know, the door glass, right? I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, shit. That's a movie. At least you didn't just start cold knifing that bitch, bro. Imagine. No, it could have been worse. That's what was about to happen. That's why I was taking the top of your house, but it didn't bunch up. One time I, I had a, a, a GMC Acadia again, and it was at a school, and it was a teacher, and the door was locked, and he's like, I'm going to come out in like 10 or 15 minutes, and I'm just sitting there, I'm like, dude, fuck it, and I just started cold knifing it. Like, I couldn't open the door and get in the door jam or anything, but I cold knifed everything I could. By the time he got out, I had cold knifed three sides already, and he I hadn't even seen the guy yet. And like, if something like that happens and it's a door glass and I just cold knife three sides, that'd be chalk. So in that scenario, pay the motherfucking notices. Yeah, he pulled out that top strip. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a movie. Well, I mean, if it's like a 105, you might be able to like kind of shove it back, in, like get a, a new strip and try to put it in there. But uh, I don't know. It would look like shit. You'd have to try to like glue it in from behind. It'd be a movie getting that shit in there. You probably just you have probably to pull the whole windshield. Right. Yeah. You probably just got to pull the whole windshield, put the molding on, and just reinstall it. Yeah, pull out old glass, put molding on it, put back in old glass. Yeah. R and R, remove and reinstall. Get the same glass. You don't have to order them glass or anything. Just Bayfly would make you order glass though, just in case you break it. Because sometimes they break coming out, but you can get that shot hell easy without breaking it as long as you're not retarded. I R and R to glass like on a side job type of thing before. It was a customer I had, and. He said it was leaking, and I literally removed it myself, and when I removed it, there was a fat-ass leaf in the pinch weld. So a leaf landed when I was setting it, and I just didn't see it. And I just didn't. Like, I'd do a Corolla in, like, 25 or 30, and I'd be feeling like a fucking monster. If I if I hit in glass sass and that shit's high 20s, I'm like, I'm a fucking man. You guys doing that shit in 11 or 12 minutes, that's insane. Yeah, I'm gonna do a Corolla for as far as, like, 15 20. Yeah, I extract. Extract yeah, well, bottom, gold knife top three. Cal comes off easy. I didn't even take the cowl off it. Unless it's those fucking uh, vans. Transit vans? Yeah. 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 Corolla, cold knife three sides, long knife the bottom, and hand set it right into the cow. It's like 20 minutes, but I don't know. You know what I think I take a lot of time off of? Uh, like way more time than I should, bro. I just have so much OCD with trimming the urethane. And I noticed when I watch it with the Do It Forever, they don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I want that shit to be perfect all the way around, like, perfectly flat. Like, they don't give a fuck if that shit's bust.